Well, how are you settling into life as a kangaroo? Um, very good so far. It's been really good. I've started full-time work, been working here for about a month and a half and um, joined my work with the huddle as a sport and rec coordinator. And, um, yeah, the boys have been very welcoming and, um, yeah, it's been a great time so far. Yeah, so, so what do you do with the, the huddle? Um, so I'm the sport and rec coordinator, so I deliver um, football programs within schools, but then I also um, do sports programs outside of school hours, um, okay. which has been good. Okay, well, uh, two or three years ago, you wouldn't have imagined um, uh, this sort of career path and, and, and footy path, I suppose. It's amazing how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I guess two or three years ago, I was um, in a classroom teaching young kids and, um, yeah, never sort of dreamt of being able to represent an AFL club, but let alone um, also work at an AFL club. But, um, yeah, it's amazing how things change pretty quickly and it's been um, been exciting times for me. And you've probably been the Cavendish Hall of Fame now, along with ones like Brian Cordy and uh, <laughs> Alan Watt. Wolf and all those guys. Yeah, Shannon Watt. Um, yeah, I guess um, in Cavendish, there's the Carney uh, tradition in the sporting sense is, continues on and... Um, yeah, mum and dad are obviously really proud of me and um, I'm sure the Cavendish town are sort of backing me every step of the way. Um, North Melbourne seems to be the destination to be with a massive off-season off -season in signings before its first season in the AFLW next year. Um, absolutely, it's been really, really exciting so far. We've just announced um, 10 or so new signings, which is really good. Um, some quality in there as well, so hopefully a few more to come. But um, yeah, I think the, the culture's really... Um, what's sort of driven our um, selection of the players and um, hopefully we can keep building on what we've already got. Do you think it will be difficult to find that chemistry in gel considering there are so many players from different teams joining? Oh, it, it, it could, but I think with, with AFLW the way it is, um, you sort of, you're playing with different people all the time. I know when I was playing with the Bulldogs we had a um, we had 12 new people come into our team and we were able to gel pretty quickly. So. Um, yeah, it does have its challenges, but I think um, the quality that we have, we shouldn't be um, have too many issues. The, the player movement's interesting, isn't it? It's sort of taken the footy world a bit of time to adjust to it. It's it's just it's moving around all over the place really quickly. Yeah, it is, and I think it's sort of the nature of um, of women's footy at the moment. We've got two new teams coming into the competition. We've got a further four the following year, so. Um, yeah, there's going to be heaps of player movement um, and, you know, clubs will do sort of whatever they can to um, get kids or players to the club. But um, I guess for us, it's not really about the money. Um, it's about the opportunities that um, clubs can offer us. And for me, that was a job opportunity. And for other clubs, it might be coaching opportunities or whatever it might be. But that's sort of the nature uh, of women's footy at the moment. And, um, you know, I think it's good for the game when we have players moving around to make it an even competition.